The movie begins with a married couple named John and Alice who are now experiencing financial difficulties and are unable to pay for their meals. To make matters worse, they are both losers in their lives. The husband works as a telemarketer, but it appears that his boss dislikes him because of John's low sales success. He cautions John that if he does not follow the company's ideals, he will be fired. Alice keeps failing job interviews despite her attractive appearance and stellar academic credentials, but she never loses up. Arnie, a former classmate, pays Alice a visit to collect rent money and is shocked to learn of her financial situation, as she was once one of the most likely to succeed students in high school. Arnie cashes their check to pay house rent. She loses hope when Alice learns that her bank account will be depleted when the landlord Later that night, they attend a party hosted by their high school classmates, where John reconnects with Chuck and the two get wasted because the drinks are free. The next day, while on their way to buy groceries, their car gets hit by a truck, forcing them to pull over. When Alice comes across a mysterious antique shop owned by a granny, she sneaks into the shop but is spotted by the granny and welcome her. When Alice picks up the phone, she takes advantage of the opportunity to steal the brass teapot before leaving the shop with her husband. The next day, John goes about his routine as a telemarketer when one of his co-workers shows him a photo of his boss, who is having an affair. Meanwhile, Alice, who is getting ready for her next job interview, sizzles after accidentally injuring her head with a curling iron. However, the stolen teapot mysteriously generates money. She eventually discovers that the brass teapot can generate money based on the pain experienced by its owner. She then intentionally injures herself on the other side. The boss calls John to his office, where he communicates his displeasure with John's sales performance. Despite the fact that he has an academic degree and has worked for the company for a long time, he must fire him. With a despairing expression on his face, the frantic John returns home. When he comes home to find his house in disarray and a bloodstain on the floor, he is taken aback. He dashes to Alice's chamber, where she is found unconscious. When he informs his wife of his dismissal, Alice is unconcerned and shows him the teapot. After she slaps him, several bucks spill out of the teapot, surprising John. They later discover that if the teapot's owner is in more agony, the teapot will yield more money. John, on the other hand, is concerned and claims that the teapot is harmful, but his wife is already addicted. John decides to return the brass teapot to its proper owner the next day. However, when the antique shop is permanently closed, he reconsiders his decision as he requires the funds to live. He tries to sell the teapot on a TV show, but Dr. Ling happens to notice it and becomes intrigued by it. However, before selling it, John strikes an agreement with Alice to keep it until they have enough money, exactly a million dollars, to pay off all of their debts. They then intentionally injure themselves in various ways, for example, by getting a tattoo or visiting a dentist. The next day, the pair agrees to go to Alice's place as a sister to catch up, where Alice, as a mother, continues to be perplexed as to how John manages to pay off all of his debts despite working as a telemarketer. The lunch scene grows strained when John is outraged. The loser couple has officially become wealthy at this time. Suddenly, two strange guys dressed in weird clothes confront the couple, claiming that the teapot is a priceless family relic. While beating John, they confess that the granny in the antique shop is their grandmother who passed away just a few days ago and that they are coming to reclaim the teapot. Alice, who has managed to conceal the teapot, reveals that it has been sold and pays them the entire sum. The men agree with her and depart the house. After that, they go to the library to look for the origin of the brass teapot, where they find a book that implies that the teapot is actually harmful. To keep John from seeing the warning, Alice secretly pulls the page out. After months of agony, the couple is finally able to purchase their dream home and car. They even have their own house party, where John invites his one and only best friend to try the new vodka. Dr. Ling unexpectedly appears at their home, expressing his curiosity about the teapot. However, the couple refuses to sell him the moneymaker, and Ling warns them that they must do it before it's too late. They don't seem to mind and throw him out of the house. Alice and John are having supper with their erstwhile wealthy friends that night who initially dismiss them. Following that, Arnie pays them a visit and expresses his envy for the couple who have miraculously grown wealthy in a short amount of time. He snatches the teapot and throws it down the road, nearly running it over with his car. The couple is alarmed, but it does not scratch because it is constructed of high-quality material. They travel to Dr. Ling, who tells them about the brass teapot's history. The teapot is extremely dangerous, and he promises to dispose of it if the couple gives it to them because it cannot be destroyed. Alice grows enraged and refuses to hand up the money to Dr. Ling. The strange men break into the house later that night and steal all their money. They don't care about the teapot and just want all of their money, despite the fact that they know it's unsafe. Alice tries to collect her money, 
but she passes out after being struck in the head by one of the men. Alice weeps in sorrow the next morning since they have lost all of their money, and the teapot is producing less money than before. It's because of this. John goes to a tavern on purpose and dares a huge guy to a fight. He is severely beaten and battered. After a skateboarder falls in front of her asterisk, Alice discovers that the teapot can also make money depending on nearby people's agony. Recognizing that injuring themselves is no longer necessary to generate money, they then attend a boxing match and hire a tattoo artist on the way home. Alice becomes irrational and desires more money. She almost hits a man with her car on purpose. Fortunately, John swerves the car to avoid the crash. Alice grows upset and scolds John, accusing him of being ineffective. Her remarks upset John, but the teapot miraculously produces money. Soon after, the couple discovers that the teapot may also profit from psychological suffering. Since then, the pair have continued to share their darkest secrets. One of the truths that astound John is the revelation that Alice once let Arnie down on her. John rushes over to Arnie's trailer and confesses the information in front of his girlfriend, Brandy, resulting in a confrontation between them. When Arnie notices the teapot, he becomes suspicious. They intend to destroy other people's marriages after revealing all of their secrets in order to get more money. They bring a parcel containing their deceased dog to their neighbor, who turns out to have died due to his wife's neglect. John also informs his former boss's wife that her husband is having an affair. These activities enrich them even further. The cruel couple even plots to betray Alice's sister, but they show compassion and abandon their plan to spoil Alice's sister in secret from her husband. However, Alice is dissatisfied with her earnings and advises that they kill an abuser or a happy powder dealer in order to make a large profit from the teapot. They make preparations for their alleged victim, but once John learns that his wife is going evil, he walks out. He goes to Dr. Ling in secret and pleads for his assistance. The doctor persuades him to return the teapot. When John returns home, he discovers the book's missing page. He threatens Alice that if she does not stop, he will kill himself. John finally persuades Alice to stop after a dramatic performance because she still prefers him over the money. Later that night, Arnie breaks into the couple's home and steals the brass teapot, which they must bring to Dr. Ling themselves. The next day, they travel to his trailer where John fights Arnie. Soon after, Brandy appears and the insane couple attempts to murder John and Alice. Suddenly, the strange men break in and a firefight starts between the insane couple and the strange men. Except for Alice and John, everyone is killed and the teapot makes a lot of money thanks to the horrible gunshot. They have gathered all of the funds and are now ready to deliver the teapot to Dr. Ling, who has been waiting outside. The pair then decides to give their good fortune to their less fortunate pals and leave the city in their old car. In the meantime, Dr. Ling tosses the brass teapot into the sea. This is how the movie ends, so see you the next day. We hope that you enjoy your time and have a good day.